Hi everyone, my name is Brad Kirby and I'm a member of the Outpost Specialist team here at AWS. In this video, we'll talk about how AWS Outposts allows container-based application modernization projects using AWS Managed Services to take place on premises. Many organizations are investing in application modernization using container-based microservices that will eventually run in the public cloud. The aim is to improve application scalability and reliability while improving development team efficiency. In a traditional application architecture, software modules typically contain a diverse array of capabilities delivered in large packages. While this may be simple conceptually, it introduces a number of challenges. Releases tend to take longer due to code complexity, build times, and regression testing. Resources need to scale in unison, resulting in under or over utilization. Failures in a single component can result in the entire application going down. And development teams tend to be large and less efficient because software is organized in larger and more complex pieces. In a modern microservices architecture, software is defined in small, loosely coupled services that talk to each other through RESTful APIs. While this may seem more complex, there are important benefits. Most organizations enjoy more frequent releases due to code simplicity and isolation. Individual services can now scale independently, which drives more efficient use of resources. Service failures have a smaller impact because they are no longer so tightly coupled, and smaller, more efficient teams can now take care of development, exit testing, and staging for their microservice. Containers combined with modern DevOps processes are a logical choice for modern application development. Containers are resource efficient, they're highly portable, they provide a standardized mechanism for packaging application code, libraries, and configuration files, and they are supported by a strong ecosystem of open source tooling for development and orchestration. IDC has stated that containers are still an overall small percentage of compute today. However, they are already widely accepted by enterprise IT as the future foundation for modern applications. AWS has made a significant investment in container orchestration services like Elastic Container Service, Elastic Kubernetes Service, and others to allow customers to focus more on developing applications and less on managing infrastructure. So we've established that modern application architectures have important advantages and that containers are one of the cornerstone technologies of modern application development. But what if your application is latency sensitive and needs to interface with resources like a mainframe or factory equipment that need to stay on premises? Or what if your application has grown complex over time and refactoring needs to occur in phases prior to migration to the cloud? What if you or your customer want to take advantage of AWS managed services, but need to run the target application on premises for data residency reasons or because key data sources reside in a company managed data center? AWS Outpost brings a wide variety of services like Amazon EC2, Amazon EBS, Amazon ECS and EKS, and others into your data center or co-location site. Outposts are built using the same infrastructure building blocks as our AWS regional data centers, and they are fully managed by AWS. With Outposts, you can complete the modernization process on premises without introducing latency or violating data residency constraints. When refactoring has been completed, the application can move to the region or stay on premises depending on your situation. With Outposts, ECS and EKS clusters operate virtually identically to self-managed regional deployments. The big difference is your containerized workloads reside in your data center as opposed to the AWS region. The ECS and EKS control planes are fully managed on your behalf and deployed across multiple availability zones to ensure continuous availability. On-premises cluster resources can be automatically scaled up and down using self-managed node groups and can be deployed with AWS CloudFormation and Terraform templates consistent with how you automate deployment of workloads in the AWS region. 
ECS and ECAS deployments running on Outposts can take advantage of CloudMap for service discovery and AppMesh for enhanced application network visibility, traffic control, and security, and they are designed to integrate with other services running locally on the Outposts and in the AWS region. Thanks for listening to this video. If you want to learn more, please check out the resources listed here. They're a good way to explore Outposts and the AWS managed services that run on Outposts. And if you're interested in speaking to someone at AWS about Outposts and application modernization on-premises, contact your AWS sales representative.